Hello everyone, and welcome to today's EdShorts session. EdShorts is a community of educators and school leaders devoted to sharing insights and ideas through bite-sized power pack free webinars meant to inspire conversation, encourage innovation, and create connections. Uh, for today's topic, it's going to be the SBAC 2020 to 2021 Blueprints and Best Practices. Uh, the, the session will be presented to you by my colleague Darcy, providing all critical information necessary for this year's assessment. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the chat and we'll be promptly able to answer them. Or if you're watching this video later on, as it'll be up on this channel, you can leave your comments there as well and we'll get to them as quickly as possible. I hope you guys enjoy this session from Darcy and we will uh, get started here in just a second. Hello everyone, welcome to our inaugural Ed Shorts session. The purpose of this session is to provide all the information available about 2020 SBAC assessments, such as changes in blueprints, interim assessments available, testing windows, and remote administration possibilities. In the next 10 minutes, we will be exploring the crucial areas of this year's Smarter Balanced Assessments. In the 2021 SBAC tests, the assessment structure remains the same. So it will still include a CAT, computer adaptive tests, with tech enhanced items such as drag and drop, graph, numeric response, equation editor, and more. And a PT, performance task, to assess problem solving and critical thinking skills. Students will see both CATs and PTs in the math and ELA assessments. All students in grades 3 to 8 and 11 are required to take the Smarter Balanced Summative. The SBAC CAT or computer-based tests adjust difficulty levels of questions throughout the assessment based on each student's response. Performance tasks require students to utilize their skills across multiple standards and topics. They include a set of questions centered on a common concept to demonstrate all-around knowledge of the subject. The testing time for each grade's SBAC summative assessments vary, the shortest of which takes 2.5 hours and is for grades 3 to 5 math. The longest one is for up to 4 hours and is for grade 11 math. This duration includes time allotted for both CAT and PT segments. Each grade level exam for both math and ELA combined takes 6 to 7.5 hours. However, some states such as California are planning to reduce the testing time with shorter versions of the assessment. Further details on this are awaited. Stay tuned to the EdShorts Facebook group for more updates. There are several resources to help students prepare for the summative. These Smarter Balanced Release items are also available in the Department of Education websites to familiarize students with the items. There are also some commercially available programs to help prepare students for the assessments with rigorous practice and targeted remediation for their skill gaps. Use these available mimicking items as bell ringers in classroom work during regular classroom sessions to improve student performance. Drive remedials with supplemental study resources to students in all your RTI groups to address their weaker areas. The Smarter Balanced Interim Assessments are designed to prepare students for the summative and allow teachers to check student progress throughout the year. Educators can use the results to develop informed instructional plans to help students meet the career-ready standards. The SBAC interim assessments are made available as the Interim Comprehensive Assessments, or ICAs. These are similar to summative and, if needed, can also act as substitute indicators of students' performance in the absence of end-of-year tests. The Interim Assessment Blocks, or IABs. These are claim level tests that help teachers assess students in the classroom periodically per their planned curriculum. These evaluate at least four to eight targets and provide domain level overviews. The Focused Interim Assessment Blocks, or FIABs. 
These assess three or fewer targets focused on instruction in about a week, typically. Students have up to five opportunities to take the ICAs and each IAB and each FIAB throughout the school year. All these interim assessments are untimed tests. The ICAs, IABs, and FIABs are fixed form tests, which means that all students in the class attempt the same items. A student who takes an interim assessment more than once will see the same items each time. The testing window for these smarter balanced summatives vary across all the administering states. This year's window will start as early as February 2021 in some states and end as late as May 2021 in a few. This year, Smarter Balanced has launched its Smart Tool for Teachers, which is a platform to discover standards-aligned lessons and strategies designed by educators. Smart Tools for Teachers includes differentiated lessons and activities that are available across grades and content areas. Let's now have a look at some of the available guidance to complete this year's standardized testing. It is recommended that all students and staff always wear a mask during testing. LEAs should work with their local stakeholders to ensure public health and safety norms are followed. Different configurations and settings are being explored to conduct testing during the pandemic period. Few of these include group testing. In this setting, test stations are each six feet apart and staggered. The teacher station is at the front of the room, at least six feet from the nearest student. Hand sanitizers are also to be available at the entrance of the room. One-on-one -on -one testing. This setting is laid out on two tables separated by a transparent divider. On one side of the divider, the test examiner device with the test administrator interfaces with an attached monitor. On the other side of the divider, the student has a monitor that duplicates the same content. Remote paper pencil administration is the least secure and poses more challenges for students and the testing coordinators. This testing method is only advisable only when both in-person and remote computer-based testing is not feasible. In California especially, it is only being considered for the ELPAC assessments this academic year. Answer books and other materials should be shipped and tracked through UPS or FedEx. Parents can also pick them up from school. It is imperative to inform parents and guardians that these are not to be open until the time of testing. Students should contact the testing coordinator through phone or ideally a video communication app during the assessment. For speaking and listening components, the test examiner will score the student during the assessment through the call as a recording is not a possibility. If schools choose the computer-based assessment option, students' online monitoring is necessary for remote test administration. Parents' or guardians' consent is imperative to allow students to participate in this option. In this option, assessment delivery and access for students' testing interfaces are through web browsers. Depending on the students' grade level, the SBAC tests can be conducted on a local device or shared with the student using web meeting applications by the test examiner. We hope this was helpful. It is now time for our Q&A sections. Feel free to share your questions in the comments. Thank you so much for joining us today in our EdShort session on 2021 SBAC tests. We will return soon with more updates.